Morning and welcome to BO2B head office in Parsons Green, South West London. It's Monday the 24th of April and we're here to judge last week's dream car competition, week 16, which ran from the 17th to the 23rd of April. Just before we start, I'd like to say huge congratulations once again to last week's winner, David Lloyd, who won the beautiful classic Mustang 1960s. So massive congratulations to him. And now let's hand over to Chanel Shah, who'll be overseeing today's proceedings. Morning, my name's Chanel Shah, I'm a solicitor at Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that all of the competition data has been passed to auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. Firstly, Mr. Gareth Deneen. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, my name is Gareth Deneen. I'm a senior county referee and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. And I have yellow. Secondly, Mr. Matt Cannon. My name is Matt Cannon, I'm a senior county referee. I referee in the London area. I'm also an active footballer. Green. Thirdly, Mr. Saul Campbell. My name is Saul Campbell. I'm a pro license football coach um, and I'm pleased to be here. Red. Fourthly, Mr. Peter Giorgio. Morning. Morning, my name is Peter Georgia. I'm an AFA football and football referee, named a tutor and observer. Orange. And lastly, Mr. Ari Mendonca. Morning, that's Shannon. Morning, my name is Ari Mendonca. I'm an ex football player and now a referee for over 15 years. Judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you all to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, thank you judges. So, please could you justify your position? Yes, um, two players in shot. Uh, one of the, uh, the player in yellow is a onlooker, but I've used his eyes. Obviously, he's kind of looking on to see where the ball is, so I've used that kind of eye line. Uh, the player in red and blue, he's just about to head the ball. Um, he's not running and jumping, so the ball is obviously going to just land on his head. Uh, he's probably going to just clear it away, or, or he, who knows, maybe chest it, but I think it's going to header it. So I've used those kind of cross uh, sections of the, of the eye lines, and that's where I put the spot. My cross, where the ball is. Gareth, please could you explain how you've come to your position? Certainly. Player in yellow on the left hand side of the picture uh, is just looking at the play, but I think he's looking directly at the ball. Uh, both his eyes are focused on it on one line. I think he's looking just above the, uh, the horizontal. Uh, the player in the red and blue shirt, uh, ball's coming in fast to him. I don't think he's jumping. I think he's going to head it uh, rather than chest it down. I don't think he's, he's, those arms look as though he could chest it. I think his eyes are focused on the ball and it's coming onto his head. So, taking lines from his eyes, the player in the red, uh, red and blue shirt's eyes, uh, and then cross-referencing with the yellow player, that's where I put my cross. And um, Matt, please could you justify your position? Yeah, I agree with my colleagues. Uh, the player in yellow on the left is just on-looking, um, whether he's looking at the general player or the ball, um, not 100% sure. Anyway, the player in the, the red and blue is just about ahead of the ball. His arms are up. Uh, his neck is sort of coiled back and he's focused very, uh, very hard on the ball and I've used the direction of his eyes um, to put the centre of the ball where I have placed it. And Peter, please justify your position. Yeah, the uh, play in the red and blue, um, his body language uh, shows, tells me that he's going to be heading the ball. Uh, the ball is coming into him, uh, he's just about to, to head it, uh, you can see from the... He's, uh, facial expression and his, and his neck tension and what I've done is I've used the cross-reference of the yellow player uh, to the left as a guy as a height and that's where I've put my uh, central ball. And finally Ari, please could you justify your position? Yes, I agree with my uh, colleagues. Um, I believe the player in yellow, he got, he got late to this challenge, he's just looking at, at, at the ball. player in red and blue he has a free header. Uh, I believe he, by his body language, he's gonna 
at this ball with power, uh, he's looking straight at the ball as well. Where these both uh, eye lines cross, that's where I, I place my, my dot. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, we're fairly close. Get a, a line across from the uh, onlooker, shall we? Mm. Is that about the mean, just above that white? Yeah, well, like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. mean spot is just, just, right? just, yeah, just above his shoulder. And you his take that there. as a guide, just the top of this one here. No, I'm going, going coming across in a minute. Right, about okay. there. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That one. Yeah. Okay. So that's a rough idea of where it is, and it's just mm. these eyes, really. And then looking at that one, the average seems to be just by his cuff and over his shoulder. Mm -hmm. so I put a yeah, just like that. A ball there. Oops. No, you have to. Yeah. Take the eye weight on this one first. Yeah, sorry. So level with his cuff. A bit to your left. That's a bit far right for yeah, the average. It is. Mm. Okay, that's just done. Let's have a look at his eyes. Because Gareth, you've got it further to the left, yeah, which is looking, looking up. I think he's looking up far more. Yeah. And you think he's, you're the furthest to the sort of. Yeah, I thought it was coming in quite yeah. shallow to him. Just, just his body language is of, of where he is, and yeah. you know, his, his neck's already back and he's ready to head it. I think if it was higher up, this is my personal opinion, he, he, he would have been tilted back a bit more or, or higher up in the air. Right. That's so that eye is. is you know, that's up, yeah. 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 I think yeah. just below the the yellow, Gareth, just below you kind of thing, really. Uh, diagonally wise for his yeah. eyes. Yeah. 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 This works with a with a green eye. I think we're, we're happy above. So it's with his cuff line and his, uh, just above the ribs, the, yeah. the shoulder. Actually, it looks like it's too far over to the right. If that's the case, we're going to make this photograph. Yeah, it needs to come over to about yeah, there, doesn't it? Mm, okay. There's a bit more, yeah. It's a bit further over. Not quite as far as that. Kind of slightly yeah, left, yeah. Okay. Yeah, average of where? So, where I'll we'll put, put is, I think, is the middle ground over there. Yeah, in between the. Actually, that's not. Mm. It's not bad, is it? I mean, I've, I've, I've come over further, but I can understand why, I mean, like, on the mean Actually, bit, you're yeah. all higher, really, there, so... Is that, what's that like? Have you got a better angle on me, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. I think slightly too. You think slightly to the right? Yeah. Slightly, yes. Do you want to go more right or more left, I mean? No, left. Yeah. yeah? I can't see from behind me. What's that, what's that like in that line? It's right above his um, left cuff. Right, 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 blue cup. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, because if, if you look at it, the, the cluster is in, in and around there. So, yeah, so it's you want to put that slightly over slight, to the right. Straight. Yeah, so right. you want it in between the two cuffs where the mm. red is. So I need above just above yeah. that one there. Yeah, I've moved over a little bit. So a little is that bit, uh, right, probably. A little bit right again? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's definitely just in. Yeah. Let me check it with his own. Nice Just check the eyes again, can you do the, the microphone with your eyes? You've got your you've got your, you've got your, you've got your spot there. Oh. And you've got your spot there. Yeah? Yeah, the shadow yeah. there. Yeah, the shadow you've got that shadow there, and you've got your okay. shadow there. So it looks like this is slightly there, according to that there. Well, we've just gone from the, 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 the mean of the line across Peter's from here. Peter's talking about that shadow there, it's a the reference. Mm. So what we want to be... Just it's a, 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 a slightly right. Yeah. So it's that spot there. Yeah. Where do you think, Peter? You've got just there. Better view than that, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite yeah. That to the right. That's moved it over a little bit. Yeah. What was that in between? That there. That shadow. That corresponds to that one, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that crosses bad actually, because it's slightly, it's slightly to the left. Yeah. You want it just in the middle of that. We're saying that's the mean point there, roughly. Yeah. yeah. Just a bit further over then, or mm, okay. ten over, and then I'll be a happy man. Well, let's keep that. Yeah. <laughs> that's a ten over. Yeah, I think it's good.
Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm the lowest. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy with that compromise. But we're in the middle now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fine. We'll thank you with it. Okay. Thank you. The selected coordinates are one seven six seven seven eight nine. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform VOTB. This now concludes the judging process. Thank you.